All right, how's it going? My name is Jag. We're back in Sabbath of the Witch. This is episode five, six. It's definitely six. So we last left off. We sort of figured out a little bit about why we were losing or why we had the memory fragments. And now that one chick is about to turn into a fairy, elp. So yeah, once all I dissipates, she's a... a Okay. <laughs> Let's just, just go ahead and hide that, because that's clearly the thumbnail right there. I was expecting, like, a, a... You know, like a fairy. Not, um... Not a cat. That's, uh, that's throwing me for a loop. A cat. There's tiny black cat sitting there before me. She's looking at me with her large round eyes, round, large round almond eyes. So, so cute. That black cat sitting where Soma san was just standing moments ago. And around the cat are on the cat are the clothes Soma san was just wearing, including her 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 underwear. Soma san's underwear is on the ground. So she was born a cat and then turned into a fairy? You could still talk. Can you use magic as often as you want? What if, as a witch, you make a wish to be able to use all the magic you want? Is that a possible thing? Are all cats, alps, or whatever? They're not magical beings like you, are they? So, so she's just a, a cat that became sentient and became a... okay. There you go, if you got an old ass cat, it might be a fairy. Light once again engulfs the cafe, robbing me of my vision. Dude, your corners are fucked up. <laughs> once the light dissipates, and the black cat's place stands almost on, except this time. Wow, just. <laughs> just right there, eh? Like, I knew there was, like, nudity and sex in this game, but I kind of expected it to all be CG. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna make sure I censor that. <laughs> These are so easy to edit, too. I would still still be easy, I mean, all I gotta do is just add two faces, whatever. Uh, you have nice boobs, that's for sure. She's buck naked. I, I see. Huh? N nowhere. And we're back in class. And just, just left with her naked. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, my doctor gave me the okay. So, Oh, wait, shit. Oh, okay. So I mentioned it before. Oh, this dude looked like he had earphones, in, like headbuds in. That's his hair? That's. It's kind of a weird cut. Or a weird angle. I'm not sure what's up with that. I think I think that was just kind of poorly done. <laughs> uh she looks like she's missing half her face, but I'm sure it's just like the sort of like dead inside purple around her face. Only a short exchange with he's actually my sensei. I head towards my seat. Are we already at your seat? Sigh. Entering the classroom <laughs> sigh. Entering the classroom in the middle of a lesson is so awkward. Especially if you're alone. Ashton decided 
I asked I san and I decided to come to school separately in order to avoid raising suspicions. Maybe thinking about Soma san's explanation on my own will help on my own will help me process everything. Going strong. She went into more detail if she's transformed back into a human, but it's also hard to take in. Witches, magic, and elves. Is it that hard to take in? Dude, you've lived your entire life being able to magically sense other people's emotions. I feel like magic isn't that far like down the list. What the fuck's up with this dude's hair? Is that red in it? <laughs> oh, she's not naked this time. Unfortunate. All certain animals that went through the process of magical tra transformation. By making a contract with an elf, one can become a witch and use the magic to fulfill the wish of theirs. So do elves just know about all this stuff? Like they churn, they become sentient, or more sentient, I guess, because. And then they like, oh yeah, well, I know all about magic. Or how does that work? Nature of the magic is based on the witch's wish, and it's up to the witch to collect the mana necessary for a said magic. Once established, a contract can never be cancelled, though adjustments are apparently possible to a, a certain extent. According to Soma-san, elves themselves can only use simpler forms of magic. It's not a matter of talent, their very nature prevents the use of higher magic, but they can make contracts allowing higher magic for some reason. Mana is sourced from their emotions. From emotions, that means it's possible to gather large amounts of mana or use higher magic if you can't understand human emotions. Okay, but what about like... What, what, what about well, like, you know, animal emotions? Like, we know animals have emotions. So... I guess... Fuck them. <laughs> the stronger the magic, the more important it is to strongly wish for it. But elves don't have those any strong wishes. Their desires don't match up with a wit to, wit to a witch's who would pay any price for their wish. Well, she's a cat. I'm sure she just wants a nap all day. And this is all just becoming a cat and having to deal with all this shit? That seems like real tedious. What they do have, to, what they do have is a keen interest in humans. That's why they use witches' emotions as their main source of the mana. And so they can better understand human emotions. Humans, on the other hand, have endless desires. Do they? I mean, it's nice to say it all, but there's a lot of people that are just purely content with their lives. Like, they want, like, small things, but I wouldn't consider that, like... I guess, I mean, it's technically a desire, but it's not a desire on the scale of wanting to make mass grandiose wishes. I was trying to transform strong desires and emotions from their witches and candidates into magic. The magic used to fulfill a wish depends on the nature of said wish. The bigger the wish and the more impossible it is, the more mana necessary for the spell. This is always also related to the random nature of the emotional price which is pay. Alps act as a little more than go-betweens, they aren't involved in the spell itself. What they do manage is the mana and oversee the process until the spell is activated. But how do they know all this? To sum everything up, that's the kind of relationship Ajisan and Soma-san have. The way I see it, they're not just using each other for their own benefits, they almost seem like sisters to me. Excuse me. Ajisan has been helping out students with their problems at the OC in order to gather heart fragments. Da 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 da. I have no doubt they were being honest with me, especially since I saw Soma-san transform with my own eyes. Which means that my mom really was a witch. I mean, we just- she said she's probably a witch, okay? If my abilities came from my mom, then what was she using her powers for? And why did she wish for them in the first place? No, it's fun. I was happy to learn something new about my mom. Plus, I got a good sight. Yeah. Well, yeah, I suppose. But I do believe it all. I just need some time to process it. それがいい。落ち着いてゆっくり考えてくれ。ああ。ついでに一つ忠告があるいや、<笑> Again, I feel like you're just describing like half the teenage population. Da 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 dot. 
チャイムかじゃあ今日はここまで Such my sensei closes her textbook and leaves the classroom. Hoshina, hey, it's been a while since we've seen her. And him. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I have a headache, but some light pain can help with that. Well, no point I don't go ahead at home. We could huddle over here. Do I? I feel fine, honestly. Um,気にしすぎなだけかな。悪いって言うほどじゃないと思う。けど確かに元気はなさそうだな。あま、病院に行くぐらいだから当然か。I really feel no different than usual. I just sneeze. <laughs> Sucks.変なこと言って悪いね。Nah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Really though, I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, don't worry. I will. Feel so like cardboard, robotic. I don't like it. I don't like it. Following that, I attend the rest of the day's classes, but I couldn't concentrate whatsoever. Yet, despite that, all that thinking, I don't feel any closer to coming to a solution. I guess I can't, just can't figure it out on my own. I guess I can't just figure out how to become positive with a little bit of thinking. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. Going straight home today just to be safe, though. You don't have to. Besides, being escorted by home by another guy is just sad. You got it. See ya. Achisan. Uh... I called to Achisan. It's walking ahead of me. She came to school after me when the next break had come around. She's walking the second building, so I guess she's planning on going doing her club activities today as well. I don't need anything. I just wanted to let you know that I'm heading home early today. I'd like you to give me some time to think through everything someone's not told me about. Yeah, right. Oh, that's right, Achisan. You knew that I was troubled by something, didn't you? You wouldn't have asked to, to ask to read my fortune otherwise. Yeah? Me, to her. What do I, the loner that I am, have in common with a popular girl like Achisan? Probably the magic thing. It's just, uh. Yeah, just throwing it out there. It's probably the magic thing. Well, she's right. That's because I have a secret I can't tell anyone about. Having a secret of her own, she must know what it's like. I guess we really are the same in this regard. Oh, Raditz, Kaisuke gave you the impression. Gave you that impression to me. So全体の雰囲気が一番の理由なんですが、それでもあえて答えるなら、表情でしょ。いや、ありがとうございます。楽しそうにしてる時でも、どこか楽しみきれていないと言いますか。そういう気持ちは私にもありますから。いや、interesting
I specifically made your favorite dish because you asked for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, stew does take a while. You're mainly just waiting as it cooks. It's perfect when you want to think about stuff. More dots? Say. What kind of person was mom? <laughs>そりゃいい女だったぞ。文句の付けようもなくてもう最高。でも急にどうした？お前がそういうことを聞くなんて珍しいじゃない。No reason. I'm just curious. Anyway, that's not the kind of stuff I want to know. じゃあ出会いと初デート。どっちが聞きたい? Ask about your romantic moments with her. What I'm wanting to know is how she usually was and what her personality was like. You know, like how she was in the inside. Look, I've heard all these things before. Is there anything else you can tell me about her? そう言われてもなあ。ああ、そうだ。母さんは耳が不自由だったことって言ってたか？はい。何？やっぱり言ってなかったか。まあそういう苦労を持っている人だったんだよ。Hair だから色々困ることも多かったはずなんだが、全然すれたところもなくて、素直で可愛らしい性格だった。あ、really。実は、あの事故も車に気づけなかったのはそれが理由の一つでな。あ、後天性なもので、昔は普通に聞こえていた分
またその表情が可愛くってさ父さん何度母さんに惚れ直したことか数え上げたらキリがない<笑>もう思い出しただけでも父さん胸がキュンキュンしてきちゃう okay, okay. Good for you. なんだかアルバムが見たくなってきた確か机の引き出しに入れてたはずだけど<笑>お前も見たいかい yeah, yes. おうちょっと待ったらよ !Dad, t o r n into the house like a child.More dots? So that's the kind of person my mom was, huh? Once again, gaze at the photo of my mom sitting on the table. That happy smile of hers doesn't look forced or fake one bit. Based on what Dad told me, it does seem like Mom would actually, could actually read months. Must, really must have inherited my ability from her. She looks so happy. I guess that means she was seeing her ability in a positive way. And that she didn't have a hole in her heart like me. I look at myself in the mirror. What mirror? Is there a mirror? Is there a mirror over here? The man to see the mirror. I then try my usual smile. Smile. Yikes. Holy smokes, my face is a lot, my face is a lot grosser than I remember. I look like a total creep. I'll have to make sure not to look at the computer monitors while they're dark. But seriously, this is just bad. Even accounting for my bad looks, this face is just gross. It's something like mom's smile. It's no wonder people think I'm weird. It all makes sense now. Who thinks you're weird? I mean, you're kind of weird because you just help with literally everything, even though you know you're getting fucked over. But, like, I mean, you got friends. Kind of. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I'm pretty good at sarcastic and cheapest smiles. And I mean, you're gonna get laid by like five women in like the next month. So that's pretty cool. You can't be that lame. I don't know how many there are. I know that obviously the main character, probably Wakana. Probably Nano. <laughs> If he fucks Nano, is that bestiality? <laughs> She's a cat. It was Friday when I learned about my mom. I spent the weekend thinking about things, and now it's Monday. I've been woken up feeling slightly more dull than usual. I absolutely stare at the ceiling. That's the sky. After spending several days deep in thought, I've come to a firm answer. Let's go. I got out of bed with conviction. Uh, good morning. Huh? What's going on? I s a i d jump to conclusions. I haven't done anything at all. Look, I told you not to jump to conclusions. I've come here for a perfectly normal reason. You're the one, like, being defensive, dude. You see. Alright. Later, after school. Hoo ha! Hoo ha hoo! I'm once again taking a brief breath, deep breaths in front of the OC. I just hadn't left the classroom before me, so she should be here inside the classroom, club room. Just as nervous as last time. I'm getting a little antsy now I'm here. My resolve holds steadfast. While she obtained from my Sashima sensei this morning, held firmly in my hand, I knocked on the door. Hi, I came I opened the door and upon hearing her reply. I want to talk to you about the matter from the other day. What? Just about the other day. Just a minute, please. Ashita moves the door and checks the situation. Checks out the situation outside. Having confirmed that no one is there, she locks the door behind me. I know she locks the door so that no one stumbles in our conversation, but still, I'm now alone in the locked room with a pretty girl. My heart is now racing for a different reason than before. Also, I was wondering last episode. It's totally light in here. More dots. It's just me, or was that strangely erotic way to phrase that? So, um, I've given a discussion on Friday some good thought. Don't worry. Not rushing myself. I'd learned some new things about my mom. I then spent the weekend carefully thinking things over before arriving my, at my decision. Super burpy, I don't know why. Yep. Silly putty. Not quite, sorry. I can't guarantee it'll be possible. 
However, I'll at least try to fill it. So for that reason, would you let me join the Akal Club? Hang on with you? Oh god, no. Here, I've already filled out an application form. Oh, I'm sure we'll be feeling something. Zing! <laughs> I can't really say to be honest, but I thought earlier. I want to be able to leave a life where I'm able to smile for real. I'll smile in a lot of photos. It's not a kind of smile I can make right now. All my smiles look forced and creepy. Despite all the hardships she faced, Mom always smiled wholeheartedly. And it doesn't need. And unlike me, she did so with only the purest intentions. I'm sure that's what Dad meant when he said she helped others simply because she had the means to. I mean, um, I've always thought I'd like to change if I if I could, but never actually bothered putting effort into achieving that. But now that I found myself in this situation, I figured this is my chance. If I truly want to change, then this is the time to do it. I can't put in the words well, and I'm getting a little bit bashful here, but anyway, Ash son. Is it alright if I help you out the occult club? It's per pretty embarrassing to just copy my mom like this, but I don't really know what else to do. Still, I get the feeling that something might change by taking this first step forward. I'm certainly not doing this on a whim. That's fine. Not doing this receive gratitude. I want to do anything I can in order to turn your heart fragments to you. Ah, uh, yep, so annoying. A damn attractive girl masturbating again. This sucks. So annoying. Oh, right. That's. I'll I'll try my best to give you my support. Uh, though being a guy, there's only so much I can do. And obviously, only if you're okay with it. Ha <laughs> ha. She's like, well, if you're the best I can get, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was the first step taken outside the cage I built around myself. Get it? There's a cage here. Get it? Get it? <laughs> oh, and I really meant what I said. I'll support you. I'll stand and watch. I'll stand watch in front of the library for you any time. That won't look suspicious. Oh, relax. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean anything by that. Bad by that. I'm sorry, really. It's been a year and a half since I've entered, entered Himamatsu. Well, well past my second summer break, hope has finally sprung within me. I have a feeling it's maybe the start of something big. Alright, that's the end of the game. Okay, holy shit, is this... So it only took me six episodes and 30 minutes each to get here to the credits, to the opening credits. Is there nudity there? I don't think there was. No, that's like a Sailor Moon transformation. It's just straight up murder that girl. Oh, right, so walking is working at the cafe. I didn't- I forgot she was working. Is that us? I mean... You're pretty attractive, dude. I mean, you're kind of a generic anime protagonist, but you're, you're still that's an attractive character. I don't know who any of these. I don't know who this girl is. Hmm. A new beginning. What does that say? Complete the prologue. 
<laughs> it only took what three hours? Uh, I have a feeling this will be slightly somewhat of a long game. All right, so <laughs> now that we've beat the prologue, I guess I'm gonna call this here because we also had like 30 minutes. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video when that comes out. Bye. Got